Hi, this is Rob with SalesPad. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of how to use aggregate pricing to put into effect uh, quantity price breaks. Now, I've already set up quantity price breaks in GP. So what that means is, uh, the way I have it set up, uh, if I sell between 0 or 1 and 10 uh, of an item, I get a certain price. And if I sell from 11 to 20, I get a, another price, a lower price. So let me just show you what, what this does in SalesPad. If I pull up Aaron Fitz, I have an order that I've that I've prepared for this. You can see I have ten A100s bought at a uh, or, or I'm sorry sold at a at the default price. Now if I go add another A100, this will put me over my my quantity price break. And even though the total of these items puts me over the break, it doesn't have any effect because they're on, on they're on separate lines. Where the aggregate pricing module comes in is that I can I can go up here and choose it, and then it will see the total of these items. So it sees a quantity of 15, and then applies uh, the price level based on that. So now that you've seen what you can do with this, let me show you how to set it up. I'm going to go to the, the security editor, and the first thing you'd want to check is the aggregate pricing module. That's the, the drop-down menu item that I chose. After that, you'd also want to enable the item aggregate pricing module. This is the screen that we use to set up the aggregate pricing. After making sure both of those are checked for the proper group, you'd want to then uh, save and log out of SalesPad and log back in. And uh, after you do that, then you should see the item aggregate pricing on the menu. Now, what I've done here is I've set up a pricing setup for A100 and uh, all it does is go through it matches the item number and make sure it's equal to a specific item number you can match this on on any any item field for example the item class uh, generic description any of those fields you can match into a certain to a certain value and then apply the aggregation based on that and then of course save and uh, close out of that screen and once again, if I add another item, if I add another A100 and order another five of those, you'll see it pulled it in at the, at the default price once again. But then if I go to aggregate this, it should, uh, actually maybe I need one more. It does. So let's put in six. Now if I save this, You'll see it aggregated it down to my next lowest price, which is for um, 20 items and above. So there you have it. Now you've seen how to, how to implement uh, quantity price breaks in SalesPad using aggregate pricing. Thanks for watching this video. This is Rob with SalesPad.